In this session, we are discussing error detection and correction using Hamming code. So, it will be a very nice method to learn that how the error can be detected and also can get corrected at the receiver's end. And before starting this Hamming code, let me dis discuss the Hamming distance at first. The Hamming distance between two words is the number of differences between corresponding bits. So, let us discuss with some example. Let us find the Hamming code distance between two pair of words. So, here is one word that is 000, there is another word called 011. Now, see the first 0 is matching, but the second 0 is not matching, third 0 is not matching. That means, in two places, the bit have changed. So, the so, the Hamming distance between this pair of words will be 2. So, there are two ones are there if you go on taking the ZOR. So, the, so the opposite bits will produce output 1. So, counting the number of ones after getting the ZOR of these two words will give, give you the idea of the Hamming distance. The Hamming distance that is D 000, 000, 011 is 2. The Hamming distance of this particular word pair, how to calculate? So, now here you see if you do the ZOR, 1 ZOR 1 is 0, we have, we have got it this one 0, 0 ZOR 1 is 1, 1 ZOR 1 is 0, 0 ZOR 1 is 1 and 1 ZOR 0 is 1. So, here this is the ZOR of this 2. How many 1s are you finding in this result? 3 1s. So, this 2 watt pair will have the 3 as the Hamming distance. The minimum Hamming distance is the smallest Hamming distance between all possible pairs in a set of words. So, whenever we will be having a set of words, then you shall go on calculating the Hamming distances between each pair and you shall stick with the, there is the smallest Hamming distance between all possible pairs in a set of words. Now, here we are having this Hamming code C7,4. So, here we are having 7 bits in the code words out of this, this 4 bits are the data words. So, 7 comma 4. So, these are the data words. So, how many bits are there in the data words? 4 bits. So, 4 bits will have how many combinations? 16. So, 8 combinations are there and 8 combinations are there. In this way, you are having 16 combinations and this is the code word. So, the last 3 bits we are writing the respective Hamming codes were there. That means, they are nothing but the parity bits calculated from these data bits. Now, how this Hamming code will be will be uh, calculated and will be operating? This is our this is our respective sender part and this is our respective receiver part. Now, here you see, here this is this is my data word. How many bits are there? Four bits: a0, a1, a2, a3. And these four bits are coming. So this 000, 000 is coming and also this data word is coming. Generator will generate the parity bits. So this this is the respective Hamming code we are getting. And the complete one is known as the code word. Okay. So, these parity bits are getting generated using some logic of this data bits. So, the parity bits are getting generated like this. Now, it will be transmitted through some unreliable transmission medium. Now, at the receiving end, I will be getting this. So, here the data bits are A3 to A0, here the received data bits are B3 to B0, here the parity bits are R2 to R0, here the parity bits are Q2 to Q0. So, now this is a checker, this parity bits will be coming down here, this data bits will be com coming down here. From this data bits again, the respective parity bits will be formed and that, that parity bit and this parity bit will be zored. Then the respective result will be known as a syndrome. This is our decision logic. This particular syndrome will decide whether our data should get rejected or should get accepted and that will be opt-in to the respective and uh, the data word will be there. And in this particular, in this particular syndrome checking, also you can do the corrections if there is any error in our data set. But Hamming code can also be called as segdet method. That is a single error correction and double error detection. That means single bit error will be corrected. That means detected and corrected, and double bit error will be detected only. So this is the, this is a, uh, the another form, another name of this Hamming code. So now let me tell you that how this. Uh, syndrome can decide that which bit has got corrupted. So, in this diagram you are going to get this one. You can find these are the syndrome values. So, how many bits will be there in the syndromes? We are having 3 bits in the parity bit. 
So, the received 3 parity bits and regenerated 3 parity bits they will be zored. So, I will be I shall be having 3 bit syndrome. So, 3 bit syndrome means we shall be having 8 combinations. So, 8 combinations we have written. So, if the syndrome is all 0 bits that means no error has taken place. If the syndrome is having this value that means this bit has got corrupted. So, corrupted means this bit has got complemented at the receiving end. So, after complementing this bit at the receiving end I can get back my own message. So, that is that is why it is called correction. So, 0 1 0 means which bit has got corrupted q 1. So, it has been written accordingly. I think let us go for one example so, to understand that how these things are taking place. Okay. Now, see. So, let us suppose this is our data I have taken this one arbitrarily you have you, have, you can do the test with any any kind of uh, code words. Okay. So, now let us suppose this is our data word and this is the respective parity bits we have attached. So, we have sent this. So, it has been sent to some unreliable transmission medium. Okay. Now, let us suppose this particular data bit has got corrupted this bit has got corrupted. So, it has become 1001. So, other uh, 6 bits they have not corrupted only first bit has got corrupted done. So, now when this bit will get corrupted so it will become 1001. So, the respective uh, parity bits will be generated like this. So, 1001 means 011 will be generated. So, now to get the syndrome this 101 which is the received parity bits and 011 which are the regenerated parity bits will be zod. So, just see 10 output will be 1 in case of zor, 0 1 output will be 1 in case of zor, 1 1 output will be 0 in case of zor. So, what is the syndrome are you getting? You are getting this one as 1 1 0. Which bit I considered as corrupted? Which bit? The first bit means which one? B 0, B 1, B 2, B 3. So, B t has got corrupted and what is the syndrome value? Just now we calculated that is 1 1 0. Okay. Now, see if you go to the 110, so B3 has got corrupted. It is telling that as the syndrome is having the value uh, 110, so that indicates that the B3 has got corrupted. So, corrupted means what? The 1 will be replaced by its complemented value. So, what are you going to get back? 0, 0, 0, 1. That is, a, that is our data which I am going, going back here. So, this is known as the detection and correction that can be done using Hamming code. So, now what will happen in case of burst error? Let me check. So, these are the 4 code words we are supposed to send. So, I am sending in this way 0011, 0011, 0100, 0101, 0101, 0101, 0101. So, 0101 in this way the bits are getting transmitted. So, the respective color matching from there you can easily guess. So, now here bit corruption has taken place bit corruption it was supposed to be 1001 it has become 1010 and it was supposed to be 1111 it has become 0011 so these four bits have got corrupted so now they will be received here and these are the co co corresponding code bits which have got corrupted you can easily find this one so now what will happen so this bit has got corrupted 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 done see this is our this is our respective uh, here here you see consider the data bits because the parity bits when the parity bits will get corrupted that is not an issue consider the data bits so this bit has got corrupted okay so what is the receipt syndrome here that is 110 so receipt syndrome is 110 1001 1001 the corresponding uh, corresponding parity bit should be 0 1 1 remember this one please. So, 0 1 1 so 0 1 1 means 0 means 1 1 means 0 1 means 1 so 1 0 1. So, 1 0 1 means which bit has got corrupted B 0 has got corrupted really the B 0 has got corrupted you can do the testing with this one I am leaving this one for your practice. So, in this way this Hamming code can perform the error detection as well as correction if there is a single bit error. Otherwise for the double bit it can detect that error. So, we have discussed Hamming code with some examples. Thanks for watching this. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.